there, my name is Liz and we are here to do a video for you today on African music. Hello, hello, my name is Montuvaldo. I am English and Congolese. Congo or Democratic Republic of Congo is right in the centre of Africa when you look at the map. So that's where I was born, but I also grew up in the UK. I was born in Cameroon, grew up in Cameroon. Now I'm in England. Coming from a country that is so rich culturally, we have native languages, we also have official languages from the colonization. African music is so diverse and there are so many sounds, traditions, styles of music. It's really hard to kind of put it all, compact it all into this session. But we are going to look at two of the main characteristics. Those are polyrhythm and polyphony. And what those mean is when you have two rhythms or two melodies or voices overlayered on each other. I have some instruments here, wooden xylophone. Um, you also have rattles, drums. This is a lovely djembe drum. And this one is called a shikare. And you find all different versions of these types of instruments all over Africa. I grew up in this country where music is part of our life. We don't necessarily learn how to do music academically like in the West or other countries because music is just, uh, is a bit like speaking your language. You don't necessarily go to school to, to, to know how to speak your language. You don't go to school to know how to speak Dwala or Lingala or Bambara or whatever. So this is how music is made in, in Cameroon and in a lot of uh, sub-Saharan countries, so African countries. So uh, people go to, to river and they, they sing while they wash their clothes, while they, 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 they're having bath. People, when they're building houses, they, they sing. People, when they go to farm, they sing. So um, this is what you call work songs in, in Africa. Also showing you some African um, instrument, a bit like this one, it's called Ngombi. You find it everywhere, every part of Africa, in West Africa, in Central Africa, where I'm from, in East Africa, in Ethiopia, or even in Egypt, ancient Egypt especially, and it's called Ngombi. Ngombi is a kind of heart, you know? And also I come from a, um, a place called Sawa. The Sawa region is the coast of Cameroon. There people call themselves Sawa. So I'm a Sawa boy. And because of the coast, you can find things like this, um, shelves, you know? So it's just to say that everything can be music. Our body is music, our singing is music, you know, uh, even our breathing is music. So let's just have fun, you know, we share this music together. And obviously, if we were in person, ideally, we would be doing this in person together and we would really be vibing off of that feeling. But it's great that we can still do it through Zoom. Polyrhythm is basically when you overlay two different rhythms on top of each other. So you will have a measure of time and you'll have that divided into three. Um, you'll have the same measure of time and have that divided into four. And then you'll overlay those two. So this is what it sounds like with a four and three rhythm together. I'm going to teach you an easy way of doing this 4-3 rhythm because this is a feel that you will hear all over Africa even with all of the diversity of music that is something that you will hear a lot so 4 over 3 or 3 over 4 depending which one is more of a dominant rhythm in the piece. One way to learn this very easily is to use phrases and we're going to use the phrase I can play the rhythm and it goes like this so I'm going to play just on my lap so that you can still hear me talking. I can play that rhythm, I can play that rhythm, yeah? And the way that we break that down into a more simplified way is together, left, right, left, right, left. Try with me. Together, left, right, left, right, left. And let's add the phrase. I can play that rhythm, 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 yeah? We try that a few more times together just to really try and get it into our bodies, okay? I can play the rhythm, I can play the rhythm, I can play the rhythm, can play the rhythm, can play the rhythm, I can play the rhythm. And when you feel comfortable, take the words away. the words in your head. Wonderful. 
Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea. And it's, it's quite a challenging one to begin with. So give yourself some patience. Start off with trying on your body. If you don't have a drum at home, you might want to get some pots and pans out from the kitchen or find some nice objects that you can bang that obviously uh, you don't want to break. And it's quite useful to have objects that sound a little bit different from each other. So here I have a, a very small um, African xylophone or marimba, wooden xylophone. So I might want to try two different tones just to really get a sense of the three and then the four. Yeah. So try that at home, I hope you enjoy it. And remember just to have some patience, try it with taking one hand out or playing one hand a little bit quieter than the other one so that you can really hear that three over four feel. And you could even record yourself doing it over your phone and listen back and maybe have a little dance to it just to try and get that sense in your body, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna pass over to Muntu now for a little introduction on polyphony. Muntu. The polyphony is different layers of singing on top of each other or maybe coming one after the other. By the way, I'll use um, some pedal stuff. Yeah, she did something like this. Ah, could play the rhythm. Ah, could play the rhythm. Ah, could play the rhythm. With this, as, as she said, you can add so many things. Before adding the voice, I, I wanted to say, um, don't be don't be intimidated by the what she said about um, rhythm like three to four or whatever every kind of rhythm can go here you can even do one two three four one two three four one two it all, always work you can also go with one two one two one two one two one two one two, one, two. but now i'll just ask you at home to just do something very simple and very fun so I'll ask you to say one, two, three, right? So one, two, three. Everybody can do this. One, two, three. 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 Now we can sing this. Yeah, BC, yeah, BC, wonderful. ABC, ABC, wonderful. ABC, ABC, wonderful. ABC, ABC, wonderful. So now I can add some layers. ABC, 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 Oh, A, B, C, one, two, three, putting it yeah. into six. Very nice. So hopefully you can have some fun with that at home. Um, one suggestion, if you want to play around with more of this overlapping and polyrhythm polyphony idea is you can download apps that um, are like loop 
loop apps. So similar to what Munto is using, uh, the loop pedal, but um, obviously a lot less expensive. So you can just download. There is one that I know of called Loop HD. And I believe you have to pay five pounds, but I'm sure there are other ones that are also free. And what you can do with those is overlay your different layers and just play around with some of these ideas. Put a three down, put a four down over the top, put a six down, put some vocals, put some call and response, try out some of these different ideas. Um, and something that I like to do is to put a bass layer down of a simple rhythm and then just improvise over the top. It can be with words, it can be with made up language or sounds, just try it out. So thank you so much for being with us today. It's been really fun um, to show you a little tiny morsel um, of what you can find in African music and hopefully you've enjoyed yourselves um, so yeah hopefully see you again for more of these sessions all right take care bye bye it was great it was great